doctors are often the first port of call when you do have a health concern. But reports say that some GPs are having to squeeze in as many as 90 appointments a day when the recommended number is just 30. Well, smartphone apps that can diagnose medical conditions are one option that could help ease the pressure. But with plenty of apps out there that aren't regulated, Dr Zand is giving his diagnosis on whether they're always a smart option after all. Detecting health problems early is often the key to effective treatment, and this usually starts with a visit to your GP. But for some health conditions, the process of getting a diagnosis could soon be done by this. Smartphone-based tests are being developed that allow patients to test themselves and then get the results instantly via an app. As a doctor, I'm normally pretty wary of technology that claims to replace medical expertise. But I'm curious to find out how other people feel about the prospect. What do you think about using a smartphone test to diagnose potentially a serious health problem? I would say 50-50 because people wouldn't like trust it as much as like a doctor would say it to their face. I'd rather the personal touch of being able to actually speak to a human. What do you think about the benefits? It takes the pressure off NHS staff. People with disabilities who can't get into a doctor's surgery, it's got a lot of potential there. But I don't think it should be used as a replacement. It should be used alongside current stuff. Maybe minor problems I'd look at, which you can do on Google anyway. Yeah, but uh, I don't think I trust them for very, ex you know, complicated things. Well, there's certainly some scepticism here in Cambridge, but I'm keen to see one of these apps for myself. I'm meeting Steve Roost, the CEO of a company called PopDoc. They've developed a smartphone-based test for high cholesterol, a usually symptomless risk factor for cardiovascular disease and stroke. GP surgeries, pathology labs are under an enormous strain at the moment and we represent a solution all working with the NHS to take that strain off and get more people diagnosed and get more people treated. This is a thing that I could do at home Absolutely. potentially. If you're comfortable testing yourself at home, we want to facilitate that. But there will be thousands of people that would prefer to just pop down the road to their local pharmacy and do the test there. And that we want to make sure that everyone has equal access to the technology. Can you do a test for me now? Absolutely, yes I can. Brilliant. So it's a, it's a small finger prick and we then use a specifically manufactured pipette to gather the right amount of blood so that there's no room for error. And then we apply that blood to the chip. Alongside a health questionnaire, the test uses a lateral flow device, the same system as a COVID test, to measure for five cholesterol markers in just six minutes. And getting the results is easy too. You take a photo. And, and then, then push we... the button. There we go. Process, Process test. That's pretty easy. The blood has reacted with chemicals on the test and subtly changed colour. Those colour changes are captured in the image, which, when analysed through the app, can tell you about your cholesterol levels. Whoa, it's done. There we That's go. it. That's it. So it went all the way to your cloud. Yep. The artificial intelligence looked at it, looked at the colours, and now I've got it. So, oh, this is great. Your cholesterol levels have looked pretty good. That is good. good. Look at that. Yeah. Great. I'm completely delighted with this. I'm very pleased with my result. But if the test had identified any concerns, they would immediately be shared with the clinical team for further investigation. This test is due to be available through some areas of the NHS and commercially through some pharmacies from early this year. Although slightly less accurate than traditional lab tests, these self-test kits will mean more people can be tested, helping spot issues sooner in patients who could otherwise be missed.